How you doing? It's we're My Lonely Heart. DJ. I'm Chris. I'm Adam. I'm Dee. And we're here to answer some questions for Strike Magazine. So basically, long story short, I had just gotten out of a really bad relationship and My Lonely Heart was basically how I was feeling. And so, I don't know, just the name just kind of happened and we went with it. Fun fact, it's also a Foo Fighters lyric. <laughs> so I, I guess you should really I say should that. Because it's a long story. Alright, so, um, Chris and I met, we met through an old friend of ours and like Vine and Instagram and all that. And then, um, we said, hey, let's start a band one day, <laughs> pretty much. And, uh, TJ and I have known each other for like ever because we went to school. Together. Since fetus times. Yeah, <laughs> since like, <laughs> yeah, since like grade school, kindergarten, and all that stuff. Yeah. Literally though. <laughs> Literally. And then Adam followed D and I on Vine yeah. and it was kind of uh I found them when they were like their acoustic duo bleh, duo. And uh you know, it's one thing led to another, added them on social media and then we got in contact and then uh they were just like, Hey, you wanna audition for the band? And I said, Hell yeah And, then, <laughs> and now he's and now we're here. <laughs> and now, and now he's and now kicking ass every day. <laughs> The acoustic show at Cool Beans Coffee House. <laughs> that was that was fun. It I was. I was. So before Eve, before, before Eve existed, existed, I didn't know about them yet. Me. It was just me and Chris. It was fun. A friend of ours basically asked us, said, "Hey, do you want to open up for us at a coffee house show we're doing?" We said, "Yeah." We were we were beyond excited. That was fun. I think we were more nervous too. Oh no, we really were nervous. We were really I, nervous. I remember I remember being really shaky, and really nervous. Yeah, we we're both like. <laughs> I was gonna go to that show, but life said no. Yeah, you had life like wrestling no. or yeah. something. Yeah. Man, that that meant a lot to us, and then we've just been yeah. doing shows ever since. Yeah. Just gets bigger and better. Yeah. Like, favorite favorite song to play live? Um, two years, ten seconds. If you're counting like originals, but if we're doing like covers, we be covered my heart. I almost passed out playing, so you know I love doing it. <laughs> it's on video fun, somewhere. Man. That was, that was a that was a fun cover. I remember that. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> anyway, um, um, you probably keeping secret just because I feel like we get the most energy and we go like the most insane with that song and just all the the guitar parts and everything are really fun and we just I don't know it's fun and then his screams just make everyone go nuts and it's yeah. a lot. It, it's a it's a fun time. Um. For me, definitely two years because I just go wild on that song, like go all out. He does. All, all, all my energy just channels into that one song. No, it channels into your symbols. Yeah. 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 I'm a symbol guy. Yeah. yeah. Symbol happy. Um. Super Saiyan. My. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, my favorite's probably either Nine One One Call or Keeping Secrets because like Nine One One Call, I have a bunch of cool like guitar parts that I play that I like playing and it's fun and then keeping secrets like they all said it's just like high energy we all go crazy it's fun it's a fun time the day we got the candy heart show um <laughs> we were talking we were <laughs> chris and i literally screamed and ran around my kitchen <laughs> so as soon as you got the answer from and, oh my god yeah <laughs> And the day we actually played, that was unreal. Like, it was our first full band show. I just remember, I, I remember being beyond excited. Yeah. I was and there. He was there. He was in the audience. It was before he was actually in the band, but yeah. he was there. I was like, yo, these are my friends. These are cool. <laughs> they sound good. <laughs> and, and then now he's in the band. And, I, and now he's, he's, he's a monster in the Dude, it's funny, because it's like coming full circle for me, because now we're opening for them, and I'm in the band when I saw them before. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> For all those in the New Jersey area, or, if you, or in like New York or close area, we're playing with Candy Hearts again, November twenty first at Game Changer World. Um, we have the announcements all over our social media. So yeah. yeah. So just check our social media on how to get tickets and whatnot. Yeah. Um. All right. No, if I if any ideal tour for anything, um, just to play or be with any band would definitely be my like favorite bands, We the Kings. Or just any other band that we all look up to. Honestly, anything would be awesome to be you honest. Just want to tour. I just want to yeah. tour, man. I just want to go around playing shows. <laughs> well, I have I have a few answers for this. 
But also, I'll keep it like short and sweet. Tour number one would be for us to tour with Paramore. That's like a dream come true. Yeah, I, I second that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paramore tour, let's go. Yeah! Answer number two would be um, Hidden in Plain View with As It Is and Us, because they're, as it is, are like my life. And Hidden in Plain View are just phenomenal. So if we could tour with them, that'd be awesome. And then no one's going to know this band, but if Cauterize had did a reunion tour, and if we could support that tour, my entire life would be complete. Oh my god, a Cauterize <laughs> reunion tour with us? Oh my god. You talk about them all the time, and I still have no idea who they are. Yeah, me either. I'm, I'm <laughs> literally going to do <laughs> Okay, for all those watching this, look up the album So Far From Real. So... <laughs> so Far From Real by Cauterize. You'll thank me later. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Um, alright, anybody who knows me will know that I would want to tour with Yellow Card, like, hands down. And on that tour I'd probably put, um, you know what? Reliant K. Ooh. Let's do that. Oh, that's a good Let's answer! Do Let's do that. And then if I had to do something like a little bit toned down, I'd probably do Mayday Parade and, yeah. um, The Wildlife. <laughs> I knew you could say that. We're gonna see them Friday. Yeah. Nice. They're all gonna. I'm left out here. <laughs> it's okay. We still love you. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, for me, we already said Paramore. Obviously, if you know me, you know I want to tour with Paramore. <laughs> um, another big band I'd like to tour with would be Paris, because they're my like other favorite band. And Foo Fighters would be another awesome one because they're like up there too. And I say this all the time because yeah. she says it. Dave Grohl is dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that'd be mine. Getty Lee, definitely. Because, like, it's Getty Lee. <laughs> exactly. Um, or for, like, ba like, bass player aspirations and, like, the music we listen to would be Jaime from Pierce the Bell or Charles Trippy because they're, like, awesome people, so. Everyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with Patty Walters. <laughs> and I have absolutely no shame in saying that. So if I look up to anyone and want to aspire to be like, I know I'd be him. Because I probably would not be funding this band without, like, inspiration from him. It is true. General music would probably be uh, Ryan Key. Just goes, yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> and drumming-wise, uh... The one that really started me, that kind of flickered in my mind was like, hey, you gotta start playing drums, it was probably a YouTuber, I forgot his last name, but Kobus. I used to watch all his videos all the time, and I still do. He's a god. <laughs> but, who's the real god, who definitely got me to jump on a drum set, was Laundry New Parsons the third of Yellow Card. Well, pre-Yellow pre Card, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, he's god. <laughs> he's my dad. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, as far as like music in general, there's like too many of the names. If you Paramore, anyone I listen to, pretty much is like music in general. Um, as far as guitarists, um, Taylor York is a big one. Um, Lynn and Alex from Paris, they're both like big ones. Like they inspired like all the delay stuff I do and like all that cool stuff. Um, Frank Iero is another big one because like. He's just like crazy on stage. Like he just goes nuts, and I'm like, I want to do that. So um, him, and then Dave Grohl because Dave Grohl is dead. Fighters. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's like insanely talented. So yeah, it's unreal. Um, it's cool. When we found out our music was on Spotify and Google Play and iTunes and all, that, especially iTunes, I was just I remember freaking yeah. out. Well, at work. Like, we, we paid to make it happen, well, so. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it's still, it's still. We knew it was coming. We knew it was, we knew it was coming. We just didn't know when, but it's still cool, because yeah. anybody, anywhere, could listen to it. Lyrics just sort of happen. I just kind of feel something and write it out. Or TJ and I will feel something and we'll just jot it down out of nowhere. He wrote a song in 20 minutes in his basement, and it's actually a really good song. <laughs> we're, it's something we're really proud we'll of. We can't it, wait to show everyone. We'll release it eventually. It'll, it'll get out there soon. As far as, like, music, like, sometimes it's, like, someone comes up with something, like, I'll come up with, like, a guitar riff, I'll be like, guys, let's turn this into a song, or, like, or, like, we'll fit it with, like, lyrics he's written or something, and then, or, like, sometimes, like, a lot of it just comes from us just jamming and messing mm -hmm. around. Musical like, fusion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> musical fusion, that's what we call it. So, yeah, it just comes from us messing around a lot of the time, and then we're just like, that sounds really cool, let's turn it into a song, and there, there you go. go. <laughs> 
Sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping a lot. True. <laughs> sleeping and getting fat. They're watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> Video games, journeys, kids, trying to start another band. Adam, you go. Yeah, uh, probably, on, in all honesty, I'd just be trying to start another band or look for another band to join because this is honestly all I want to do. Yeah, I'd probably be looking for another band to like start or like I'd. I still work at Six Flags, so I'd probably be stuck there and be crying. Thank you. No, seriously, like, <laughs> without, fa without, like, people listening to our music, we were just four idiots sitting in the basement playing music. <laughs> well, well, we kind of still are, but... <laughs> yeah, it's... It gives it, more it gives it a purpose. It gives it a purpose. Yeah. Purpose and you know, like honestly, like we know we know we're not big, and it just it just yeah. feels really good to have people who support us, who support yeah. our music, who support us playing shows, and just support our dream. And we just want to thank you for that. Yeah, and just have to have, especially at shows, like when yeah. people come up to you and they're just like, "Holy crap, you guys are amazing!" I'm it's like, like it's honestly the greatest thing to hear. And so we just want to thank you for that. Yeah, and my, we love my you. heart is not lonely anymore. Put <laughs> 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 On that note, thank you for watching this one, my only heart. Later, guys. <laughs>